Strategic communication is the combination of all things communication as we think of it in traditional terms, public relations, advertising, marketing, social, immersive media, all of the tools and strategies that we use to communicate outside of journalism. So where you have journalists that are producing stories, strategic communication is taking all of those communications tools often as storytellers as well, but knowing who your audience is, who your organization is, what your objectives are as an organization, and then how to build strategy and content that will reach the audience to achieve what you need to achieve in a very strategic way and in a measurable way so that you know that what you're doing is actually creating the effect that you want from communication. The students who come to our program are looking at a number of different things. Because there are overwhelmingly mid-career working professionals, these are people who've been in the business for a while and realize that the world around them is moving in ways that they can't keep up with or are not aware. They come to a master's program to elevate their game, to gain more skills, to do a deep dive into understanding how and why strategic communication works, and or they've been in a career, they've been in a field, and they really want to pivot into strategic communication. You can get into strategic communication whether you want to be in the agency world, government or advocacy world, or industry as well. Everybody needs strategic communication, which is one of the other really wonderful and fun things about it. I think to be a great strategic communicator, there are a couple of really important qualities. At the, the foundation of all of that is being a good writer. The women who started our STRATCOM program used to refer to it as an MBA without the pesky math. <laughs> so instead of working with numbers, you're working with words. Additionally, I think strategic thinking and critical thinking. So I, I cannot tell you how many times I've had students who said, well, what's the template or what's the rubric? You are um, never gonna ask your boss, what's the template? It's being able to critically analyze the situation, understand uh, where you wanna go, and then be able to process and think strategically through goals, objectives, strategies, and tactics that are gonna help you reach your target. Some people would say a good EQ, emotional intelligence, so that you really have an empathy and understanding of who is your target audience and where are they coming from and how are you gonna communicate with them in a way that either change their behavior or make decisions about the things that you're trying to communicate. I believe that a master's in strategic communication has been really important and I'm gonna use this through the lens of our graduates. It changes the way they think about the way they approach communication. Day one in our class, I say, I want you to always start with why. Tr really try to understand why are we doing this? Why will it work? Why might it not work? Why do people want to, why would they respond to it? Which is what a master's or a graduate degree really helps build the skills that help you think critically and help you be able to think through the, why am I doing this? You have to be able to stay on top of it, understand the industry, understand the technology, understand your audiences, and that's what you do in a graduate degree and in graduate school. To move into management or at a management level position, increasingly one of the lines on that call for a job is a master's degree. And this is a brilliant degree that's gonna give you a really solid foundation that's also really broad, that gives you skills that you can take with you into almost any kind of position. The kinds of jobs you can get with a strategic communication master's degree, again, vary broadly, and um, which is kind of the fun part about a, a strategic communication degree, or, or career even. So we have students that go into um, positions that might be um, social media or community manager. It can be a community relations director, chief metaverse officer. They might go into the agency world and become an account executive. That graduate degree is gonna build out your portfolio of skills in a way that you're ready to level up. Well, when you finish with a graduate degree, you're ready to step into more of a management and strategic thinking position. You become a leader in the work that you do. 
I think the most important thing that anybody can do to help them find a job in strategic communication is networking. Use the network of peers that you develop while you're in this program, it, not only with your fellow, the students in your cohort, but with the faculty and with the many people that we bring into the classroom and the strategic communication leadership network that we have. It's stunning if you look at the statistics on how many people get a job from responding to an ad versus getting a job because somebody told them about it and they knew somebody there. So having that network is probably the most important way to get the job of your choice. And one of the other things about getting a strategic communication master's program from the University of Oregon, as you become part of that broader duck family, that brand is identifiable and people always say, now I walk anywhere in the world and people, if you see a, an Oregon hat or jersey or anything else, people go ducks, you know. So the duck uh, family is large, global, and deep and passionate about sharing that community and that affinity for the university that we represent. As people are looking for a strategic communication master's program, start with what is the curriculum? How long does it take? Uh, who are their faculty? Um, so are you getting courses that are going to give you the skills you need to go out and get the job of your dreams? Who are the people that will be teaching you and what is their background? Uh, they might be experts in a field as somebody in academia, but do they also have people that are teaching from industry that can really give them what's happening in the world right now that you need to be aware of? Our master's program is unique and exciting for a number of reasons. One is that um, we have a curriculum that is ever evolving and um, I've brought together a strategic communication leadership network that are the top communicators of the organization that they represent. So we have the executive vice president and chief communications officers of Microsoft, of um, Nike, Columbia Sportswear, multiple agencies such as We Communication, uh, Edelman, we have government agencies, the Port of Portland. So we have this network of people that meet twice a year who review our curriculum with us. And um, we might do a deep dive into a specific class. From that group, we actually develop the syllabus and the outline of the, of the ethics class that we now offer based on the ethical issues that they're facing right now. And thinking three, five years out, what are the things we need to be thinking about that are, that are gonna challenge us? And how do we prepare for those today? Having access to that leadership network is another incredible superpower of our program. Um, we've had several of our students get hired by those people because they know what we're giving our students. And, and my, when I met with them and said, this is what I wanna do, I said, I want you all to fight for our graduates. So if I can have you all wanting our grads, I know that our grads will be very employable. Because we're nestled in the Silicon Forest in Portland, Oregon, which is a magical city, the tech industry is, is very powerful here. The creative industry is unsurpassed. I th the creator and maker culture of this region is really wonderful. And we tap into that as instructors for our courses. So while you'll have faculty from the University of Oregon teaching you. We also had the executive vice president of communications for one of the largest healthcare companies teaching our management and leadership class. We had another one of our leadership network members teaching a social change campaigns class. And that's all they do is they focus on social change and social interest, uh, public interest communication. So we have the industry, top people of the industry teaching classes that are based on what's happening right now. So we work really hard to make sure that we are actively engaged with industry, um, that with industry leadership, and that we know what, the in, what industry wants of our graduates. Our students are um, really often drawn to us because of the vibe of Portland, Oregon. The heartbeat of the people that live here and around here is that they are passionate about social change. They're passionate about innovation. They're passionate about ethics and responsibility. 
Um, they're passionate about diversity, equity, and inclusion. When we're thinking from a diversity, equity, and inclusion perspective, we're always gonna be better communicators, bar none. Companies are grappling with this. Organizations are grappling with this. How do you help them create, not only create a narrative, but then follow it up with policy and behavior that backs up what they say they wanna be? It just should be automatically included in what we think and do. But we want our students to always be thinking about it from the perspective of another in an effects perspective when we go out and do the work that we do as communicators and helping the organizations that we work for not just think about it or talk about it, but live it, be it.